I guess it's fair to say that I've had some time to think, you know. I'm always the latest one to the party. But anyways, welcome to this video. There was a Nintendo Direct. I was really happy with it. I am a long time fan of the Mario and Luigi series. I was 13 years old when I got the first game for my Game Boy Advance. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. One of my favorite RPGs at that time. I replayed it so many times. This is going far back. This is more than 20 years old. That's how far back my love for Mario and Luigi goes. Then we had the DS titles, the 3DS titles, and I had a blast for the most part. But I would say that Superstar Saga was my favorite. But uh, maybe it's about to change. I was so pleasantly surprised with the way that Nintendo is going with the art direction and the graphics in the newest one, Mario and Luigi Brothership. Finally a new game after like nine years I want to say. It has a cell shade art style and that is I love it. Now the gameplay this time around is that from what I gathered you are going to several islands on this ship which is the brother ship which seems to be working as the hub area of this game this time around. It's gonna be an adventure, it's gonna be all of that good old Luigi humor I'm sure. It's an RPG with turn-based combat with precision inputs. I'm not necessarily very good at precision inputs, but I am doing just fine. A huge fan of this series. So happy to see they revive it. And this is something, when I was watching the direct, I was like thinking, this has not leaked. This was brand new news to me. I don't think I've ever heard anyone predict this to come out in this direct at all. So genuinely surprised. And at the first seconds, I was like, oh, is this a remake? Because I feel like we have gotten too many remakes right now. We're living in the era of remakes and remasters. And it's kind of getting uh, a tiny bit tiring. I want something new and you do too. I was so happy to see that it is actually new. It's not a remake, oh my god. Mario and Luigi Brothership, looking forward to that one. Now I have a little surprise for you guys. This video is sponsored by Trade Tales. It's a game developed by Brick Geek. There is a Kickstarter for this game up now on July the 2nd. It is a modern life farming simulator that I think just stands out against other life sim farming games right now. It looks so good. Look how the NPCs move, for example. Farming looks super satisfying. Mining looks super fun. This game just looks so exciting to me. I am liking the graphics and how you do the farming. You know, actually, you can walk around with your watering can. You can open your own shops. You can put up your own advertisements in the game. Cultivate your land. Decorate a bunch. And I'm liking how this looks. It looks like something I just want to play right now. I am impressed with Trade Tales. And I'm gonna be an NPC in the game. So if you check out this Kickstarter, link down below, you can look at more of the trailers that has released right now of Trade Tales and you can back this project. I have faith in this project. Have a look at that down below. I hope this piqued your interest. Now back to the games that I was talking about. Now, Farmaja is another game that I think I will be playing. It's a Marvelous game and I love Marvelous. I remember saying the amazing Marvelous in a video and the comment was like, well, that doesn't make sense. The amazing Marvelous. Uh, but they are though. Uh, Farmaja sounds like an Italian cheese. So that is the theme of the game. It's about Italian cheese, I think. I made plenty of notes. Um, Donkey Kong Returns. He returns again. Dragon Quest uh, 3 and 1 and 2. And I was on a podcast, Rad Crew podcast in Norway, and we were talking about this direct and I was like, D it doesn't make sense that they are giving out uh, Dragon Quest 3 and then later 1 and 2. But then the podcast host was like, it makes sense if you play the game. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I, I know nothing. I just thought it was funny that number three is coming out before number one and two. <clears throat> but apparently it's supposed to make sense. Now Mario Party Jamboree. I'm not into Mario Party anymore. Don't, <laughs> don't have anyone to play with. Lord. Okay, so now the next big one. Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. An actual Zelda game for once. This is an actual Zelda game where you play a Zelda. Oh my god, who would have thought? The Legend of Link. 
it should be called just to fit the theme of what they have been naming the series for all this time. They are going back to Link's Awakening graphics. I enjoyed it, but I hope they have removed the blurriness of the top and the bottom of the screen like I remember saying when I was talking about Link's Awakening. Other than that, I like that plasticky feel that just looks like you can reach out and touch it. It's really like Play-Doh-y, plasticky, loving that actually, except for the blur. Like I said, Zelda has a copy ability and I was like, is there no combat? But apparently you copy enemies and you use them in battle. They fight for you. She is using the wisdom instead of the courage and the power of the Triforce. That's what I thought anyway. You can copy beds, you can copy crates, enemies, the possibilities. I'm so gonna copy uh, everything. Now, when it comes to Echoes of Wisdom, I'm hoping that it's not a short game and I hope it's not a game that we will be playing for one week and then leave it. I hope it has some longevity to it. That is my main concern, I think, when it comes to Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Other than that, loving the box art. Actual Zelda game this time around. I don't know. What do you think? Now Stray is coming to Nintendo Switch. Now what else am I excited for? I mean, Metroid Prime? I'm medium on that one, quite medium. I'm not the biggest Metroid fan. A lot of people are, I know, I am aware. And I do like first person shooters, like right now, for example, I am playing Destiny 2 again, loving to shoot some stuff, it's good. I'm also playing Dragon Quest Builders 2, a lot. This time around actually being totally obsessed, like even more obsessed than I was the first time around, if that was even possible. So I'm having a fun time right now, but um, like, to be honest with you guys, Mario and Luigi Brothership is like my personal favorite of the Direct. Uh, because I love them. They are my brothers. Now, I had a little section in my notes saying disappointments, but I now understand why they didn't they didn't mention the things that I have under disappointments. Uh, now, I wanted, and I was crossing my fingers, like, I want to hear more about Pokemon Legends set A. And there was nothing, but I think I can understand why. I think, and I'm predicting, officially, that it is a next-gen launch title. Predicting that, hoping that, hoping next year, actually. And also, not a word on the next console. Which I think makes sense. They are squeezing the last bits of drops out of the Switch right now. We are reaching the Switch's end. And I'm so, so excited about that. So excited, actually excited. The only thing that I really want from the next uh, console is that it has backwards compatibility because <sighs> the internet will go on fire if it wasn't. I don't know, we will see. Now, those were my thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. Looking forward to the next one. Why don't you join the Discord while you're at it? Read my description box. Plenty of good stuff there. Discount codes and stuff. And uh, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And I will see you later. Also, going to Retro Mesa announcement, I guess. <laughs> you can actually meet me in real life at Retro Mesa. The 17th of August. Be there.